Okay, so welcome to Ditch the Diet and Face the Feelings from Nourish to Flourish. Today, we're going to be talking about finding that inspiration when you're really not feeling any motivation. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, this kind of arises because Sarah and I were sitting here going, I got no inspiration. I got no motivation today. And we're like, well, that's a good topic to be talking about with you guys, because that's the reality of life. You know, mm -hmm. how many times are we stuck on I don't, I'm not feeling it yeah. today. Um, and I know for me this morning when I, you know, I, I got Isabella off to school and the first thing I thought of was, well, you can now, you've got, you know, 25 minutes to take the dogs for a walk. And my first response was, oh, but I could do something else instead. And I was like, no, you need to get out and take the dogs for a walk. Not because the dogs need a walk, because I need the movement. Yeah. You know what they say, if your dog is overweight, you need to go for a walk. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's tricky when, when you just don't feel the motivation to do anything. And I feel like, at least for us, you know, in North America, we're just shifting into autumn and there was just sort of that end of August, beginning of September surge of activity where things are starting up again. And I feel like it's just a little bit of a trough or a lull right now, um, mm -hmm. you know, and just coming off a full moon. Yeah. It's just kind of, I don't know, sort of a quiet little space and it's easy to just eh, not be terribly motivated to do anything. So is it a lack of motivation right. or inspiration? Or is it that your body just needs some downtime and quiet time? That was exactly what I was going to ask you. Because one of the things that, you know, I have to balance, and you've been there too with fibromyalgia, is knowing the difference between bored, actually tired, and mentally tired. Yeah. And when you're physically ill and actually need to rest. And so, you know, like for me, um, understanding I'm bored. Well, there's a lot of solutions to bored. <laughs> okay. There's a whole lot of solutions to bored. Mentally tired there is a need to rest the mind yeah doesn't mean i need to rest my body but i've got to find something that's not going to tax me mentally so i get that rest yeah and actually getting out and just doing um an easy type of exercise or movement is the perfect thing to do then not something that you have to pay a lot of attention to or do any calculations or anything like that but just even just walking you yeah. can just mindlessly walk get the movement your body needs and then also sort of decompress your mind and create that space for it to relax and and uh rest also yeah. you know this past weekend all mm -hmm. i did the entire weekend first of all i went to sleep on thursday really early and then i also took a nap on friday so within like that 24 hour period, I got 13 hours of sleep split over two different sleeps, which I needed. Like, right. I was so exhausted. And then this weekend, all I did was read. And like yeah. my, my mind was just absorbing and absorbing and absorbing. And it was great. It was like, I knew I wasn't going to go out and do anything other than uh -uh, I'm just staying inside. And it was, you know, rainy part of the time i was like oh it's blissful well i mean like i had a moment on i'm trying to remember if it was friday or saturday where i had finished doing some writing and i'd really spent five six hours solid working mm -hmm. and i finished it and i sat down to watch netflix and of course my guilty mind said what the hell do you think you're doing yeah and I had to give myself permission to rest yep. of saying, well, wait a minute. No, you know what? I, I do want to, I'm actually consciously choosing to do this 
because I want to rest. Not because I'm procrastinating and avoiding something else, but actually because no, actually I, I want to rest. I do not want to be cleaning, taking the dogs for a walk. You know, I went through the list of what the options were and I wanted to sit down on the sofa with my feet up and watch Netflix on the iPad. Yeah. But it's, it's also that consciousness and, you know, I, I struggle with it sometimes that there's moments where the consciousness is, well, you actually, there's things that you could be doing that are mindless mm -hmm. and your body can be in movement mm -hmm. versus actually I'm completely tired, not just physically tired or not just mentally tired, mm -hmm. but I'm tired and I need to rest. And there's that mindfulness and awareness to it. Yeah. All things that we need to pay attention to. And I think that if you are mentally exhausted and physically tired or physically exhausted, and then you're trying to get up and go to work and be productive all day, you are mm -hmm. definitely going to suffer from a lack of inspiration and no motivation. Like, yeah. well, your motivation might be just to get through the day so you can get home and, you know, crash on the couch for a yeah. while or something. But, but yeah, paying attention to those, those little signals from your body throughout, you know, throughout the day and over the course of the week are so key to being able to stay in that state of flow where you can find inspiration and be motivated to work on your stuff. Oh, you have a storm coming in. I know yesterday I, I worked all oh, day. Oh, no, it's already here. It's already uh, raining. <laughs> over your house. <laughs> um, I worked all day. Yeah. <laughs> it was like quarter to five, and I was still trying to like finish up one part of a project that I'm working on. And then I sat there and I looked at it, and I thought – Nope, this isn't fun anymore. I'm going to put it away for the day because I needed to be creative yeah. and I had used up all my creative juices already for the day. So I didn't have yeah. uh, the motivation to continue. But that's something new for me that's, to actually listen to that and pay attention to it. You know, in the past, and, and knowing I would knowing when to put the notebook aside. Yeah. No, knowing when to say, no, you know what? I've, I've done enough on this right now. Uh, yeah. Just a minute. <laughs> yeah. And uh, just really, you know, listening in to your own messages. Um, if it's something that there's enough time that you can put it away for a while uh, and come back to it when you're feeling more inspired again then by all means do that. But I know I used to just like push through, push through, push through everything yeah. to the point of such extreme mental exhaustion that then I would just, I would get sick actually. And um, my yeah. most common ailment then was just, I would get strep throat and just get knocked out for days. Because yeah. your body's been telling you little by little of, I need, I need, I need. Yeah. Yeah. And even, you know, working from home and for myself, it's, it's hard to remember that I need to like stop and actually take a break. You know, yes, that's, that's well, part that, of, that's just, yeah. I mean, one of the challenges is that, you know, that if you leave the office to go home, you have this physical division between when you're working, when you're not working. And quite often, as you'll see, I'm getting interrupted during the work day, at least you know, I was last week and the week before because first Isabella was on holiday for a week and then she got sick. Um, and so I would extend my work day beyond my normal working hours to make up for the time that I hadn't worked throughout the day. Yep. <laughs> and there was this total blurring of not working, not being home. And feeling really exhausted yeah um mentally and emotionally as well as physically and so you know i took a couple of days you know because I've, I've learned the hard way now when i'm in that space of i don't feel like i can concentrate and get things done mm -hmm. there are things i can do 
that don't require my total creativity, my total concentration. And it's being able to say, well, okay, right now I don't have time. I don't have mental energy or I don't have space for this. But that doesn't mean my entire day is a write-off. No. Okay? Not at all. It, it's like, it's accepting, well, okay, I had this on my to-do list and maybe I'm not going to get that done. But there's stuff that are on tomorrow's to-do list that I can get done today. Right. And that's one of the options that we have when we're not feeling inspired or motivated about something that is right before us. It's like, okay, in maybe it just needs a little more percolating time before yeah. you're actually ready to work on it. So yeah. what can you shift around and focus on right now that you can actually put your time and attention to that's still going to accomplish something that's on your to-do list and help you move forward. And so that when you look back, you can see, yes, I've accomplished all of these things. I'm not a total loser slacker. You know, I'm, I'm still okay. <laughs> By my yeah. own harsh judgment, I'm still okay. <laughs> Because, and, and we are, we are so harsh with ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I think that that's part of the reason why we don't listen to those messages from our body. We, we fail to differentiate between physically tired or mentally tired or totally tired yeah. versus bored. And, and bored for me often is that I haven't taken the time to get organized. Yeah, that can be part of it for sure, for be sure. Because sometimes bored really is overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. of, I have 40 things I could do. Yeah. And I haven't taken the time to sit down and look at, well, which one should I, could I, am I ready to work on? Yeah. Yeah. And the boredom is, I just don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, you and I both come from backgrounds that are very deadline driven, right? All, but they're all artificial deadlines imposed yes. by some regulatory body, right? Where right. things are due on a certain date. Yeah. And so I think we learn these habits of regardless of motivation, you just push through and you do the job at hand to get it done. Well, yeah, or, or you're working to the client's deadline or you're working to yeah. what you promised the client when you weren't thinking about how much work you really had to do. And all, all this only takes me three hours. So <laughs> I can have that for you tomorrow, except that I've already got an eight hour day today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now you have an 11 hour day, you know, cause that's what you do. Uh, but I think that has, uh, you know, that's part of what creates that, that harsh judging voice for me, right, is just coming from that very deadline oriented yeah. background to uh, this more fluid state, but there's still that part of me that is just like, hey, it made it onto your list, it needs to get done. Right. But, but now and this, you know, I talk about this so much in my posts and my blog even in these lives of, you know, really focusing on your priorities and what's important. It doesn't have to be urgent in order to be on that list of things I'm working on today, because in the big picture of things, the urgent may actually not warrant getting on today's list because the important yeah. is of so much more important that leave the urgent for tomorrow and do the important today. Yeah, because it can be urgent and unimportant. It can also right. be urgent and important. And those are the ones that you definitely need to pay attention to now. Yeah. Um, but the ones that are just important by themselves, oh, that's where the joy comes in, right? Because you yeah. get to really get in there and and do throw something yourself that, into yeah, something something yeah. that has real meaning for you yeah. um yeah so yeah so yeah. like for, for me at the moment you know where where i'm sitting with oh lack of motivation or inspiration you know um when i have that i actually now have a notebook of just brainstorming ideas of, okay, if you're not feeling inspired, you're not feeling motivated and you want time out, fine. Mm -hmm. Sit down on the bed or sit down on the couch, 
have colored pencils, colored pens, um, metallic markers, whatever you want to work with. Break into your daughter's stash. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. And just do the brainstorming work of ideas yeah. where there's not a deadline. There's not a, you have to get so much done. And because you're in that state of, oh, I'm not motivated, you actually don't have a whole lot of resistance mm -hmm. to ideas coming through and, and being able to be creative. Mm -hmm. Because my experience, at least for me, and this is, you know, this is just me as I'm getting to know myself, is that when I'm in that state of tired and I really can't be bothered, I sometimes have the best damn ideas that in a day or two I'll sit down with my logical mind mm -hmm. and there's a whole lot more to it yeah but I wouldn't even get the idea with my logical mind yeah. well and you, you know how a lot of people say they get their best ideas when they're in the shower mm -hmm. well guess what that's because you're relaxed you know, right. you get in there, the water just feels good. It's warm. It relaxes your muscles. It helps to wash yeah. away the tension, but it gets your, your autonomic nervous system relaxed too. And when you're in that state, that's when you can have an open mind and the creative ideas can flow in. Yeah. yeah. And one of the things for me, like this morning when I was going out for the walk with the dogs, because admittedly they don't need the walk, but I do. <laughs> Um, I was, you know, a lot of times I'll put headphones on and listen to a podcast or, uh, listen to a training video that I haven't finished listening to and everything. And when I went to do that today, I had that little voice that said, stop pushing. Yeah. Just go for a walk for a walk's sake. Yeah. With no agenda, with no this is how long you need to walk for this is how many miles or kilometers you need to walk there's you know just but you just go for a walk for a walk's sake yeah and enjoy the process of walking yeah like it doesn't have to be uh just an avenue for more productivity yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and and from that flows so much more mm -hmm. Yeah. No so final it. thoughts, closing up on this, you know, when the better you get to know yourself and, and, and that is the hard part. The hard part is that we are not all wired the same. What works for me may not work for Sarah, may not work for you, but find out what does work for you yep. when you're listening to yourself, find out how you tell and and differentiate between when you're bored versus when you're mentally tired or physically tired or actually need to sleep yeah. <laughs> because Another crucial element a very crucial element because sometimes what i need is to sleep and i watch netflix or i read a book when actually mm -hmm. my body was saying the reason you're not motivated and inspired is because you need to sleep. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's just coming to that place of starting to listen to our bodies. You know, the same way, way we talk about ditch the diet and face the feelings. These are the feelings as well. Yes. Exactly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All the feelings aren't emotions. Some of the feelings right. are physical fatigue. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, or the mental load or, or whatever that is. Yeah. So yeah, you know, just get to know yourself and your yeah. body and what your needs are. And that shifts be in seasons, mm -hmm. between years, mm -hmm. between what's happening in life. Mm -hmm. And even monthly hormonally, it affects you too. Absolutely. Yeah, I would say find, play around with those things that create um, the spaces for you to either incorporate some mindfulness into your day, you know, where you just like turn off all the electronics and sit quietly yeah. and just be, and 
you know, even just that 10 minutes of quiet mindfulness will allow your body to get some of the the rest and the restoration that is needed uh, to go on. But whatever it is, if it's coloring or if it's singing or, or going out and exercising or, you know, meditating or doing yoga or whatever it is that and, helps. And if you're not sure you. of which of all, there's a one hour YouTube video of disturbs the sound of silence <laughs> on routine. <Ruchi. laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah yeah uh, but All else fails. <laughs> pay attention to um the intuition coming up from your body your body is yeah. going to tell you what it wants what it needs what it likes what it doesn't like yeah. and, and just I'm because you've sure. got your mom nagging at you or your spouse or your mom's voice, even if she's not no longer with you, but you can still hear her. Mm -hmm. um, switch off that voice and start listening to you. Yeah, and just sit in in your heart. Ask wow. yourself, what's important to me? What matters the most to me? And any way that you can turn inward and just nurture and nourish those aspects of yourself um, that's going to help you create those spaces for creativity where you will then find your inspiration and your motivation so just do it there's your motivational speech you're muted sorry yeah so guys um when you're looking for that inspiration you're that lack of motivation before you go looking to the external check inside yeah check inside make sure that this isn't just tired and what you really need is to rest not that oh i'm so lazy and not motivated maybe you're not lazy maybe you 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 aren't lacking motivation maybe it's your body saying would you please slow down and allow me to rest you know yeah. and it's being able to differentiate all those different messages yeah. so have an awesome week and we will see you same time, same place next week. Bye.